Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is going to be a little bit different because you can see my wonderful face. Uh, so I'm going to give you a rundown of what's happening. I'm going to implement the video of me run going to Privis Lobbies right now and meeting Sir Divish. And here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalis. My name is Marius Vila, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived, and so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved. But it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? Why wait? I'll head to Townberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. I won't bother you with the details, sir. You have more important matters to attend to. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally some good news for this province. Well, I'm badly needed too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. There's a stream here, and a well, right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here, so there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey. 
from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. But now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. Rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point. But I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff. To take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. And if you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. What the fuck? Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... 
I mean, are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. Well, it looks like now I have something to blow all my money on. It's a good thing I got like, uh, what, like 10k Groshen, 16k Groshen. Then I honestly I get another 20 on my horse. Don't believe me? Check this out. Bloop, 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 bloop. 19k. And welcome back. So as you can see from that video, I thought I was either going to be really well off or I am dirt poor. Well, it turns out I'm dirt poor. 30,000 wasn't, was just a drop in the bucket for this. So as I found out slowly over time, I needed to go get a lot more money. So I did some of it legally by doing archery tournaments. And I did probably a lot of it illegally. So after spending so much money, some of the merchants had like 60K on them. And I'm like, huh, I could really use that money for Privis Lobbits. So I waited till nighttime and I broke into their house and stole that money for the, uh, for, for the town. Cause, uh, right now it's just bleeding me dry. Cause all the only thing I have built is the tavern forever. And the tavern wasn't making anything. And then the market was like, yeah, we can go get the supplies that you requested from these people. Uh, but it's costing us more than it is to maintain this whole, this whole village. So I'm like, shit. So I had to go do some illegal stuff to get some of that capital back. I'll catch you in a second. I'm gonna wake him up from uh, his nap. I have a document for you from Sir Divis. It concerns the renewal of Pribis Labbits. The village you drove those bandits out of? The very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. God be with you. hereby announced in the name Welcome of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Scalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Scalitz friends consider this offer very seriously as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon. All right, everyone, we're just outside Privis Lobbits. We're about to go in it. I just add 
asked everyone to join us in town, and we're gonna see if anything happens once we arrive in town. To build I need supplies to be able to support aliens. everything else. I think What's that's. To be? I think that's why I can't do anything. We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supplies for building. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. That's looking pretty nice. I want to build something. Certainly. I'd like to build the rat house. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building. So they don't botch anything. Oh wait, was I supposed to be putting the, the funds in this one? One of them. We're gonna build here? Yes. Shall we get started? Sure, why not? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Yeah, woodcutters, mm. we got the money. All good. We can start construction. Here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in there. Should be able to start making some money in this town now. And no town is complete it's without a, a tavern. Certainly. Look, we don't have a tavern here yet. People need to wash the dust down after a hard day's work. We'll start with a forge. We'll need plenty of tools and they'll need repairing too. So we have to have a blacksmith. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be built. I 
An armorer will always find custom and won't go hungry. We should have one here, too. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. Tavern could have its own brewery. Then we'll have fresher ale and fatter profits. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building so they don't botch anything. like a game of dice and so do I. We should have a dice table and invite some players. Maybe I can even win back some of what I'm paying out in wages. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. some stables built. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building. Get some saddlers' equipment and tools. Hmm. Well, people have to eat, and bread is a must. So let's build a bakery. We could add a fruit drying hut for the baker, so he can bake even better pastries and even fruit pies in the winter. Marius, there's work to be done. It's time the church had a new altar. It's not the house of God without one. Good.
I've decided what to build. Oh. All right, I'm in Tallenberg, it's the middle of the morning, and I'm gonna see Sir Divish and inform him about the state of Privis Lab. Bring the ghost. Sir Divish, I finished the assignment you gave me. Privis Labitz is up and running once more and making money, and the church is as good as new. Indeed? That's excellent news. I can't wait to see it for myself. Of course, we can go right away. Take care. Welcome to Pribislavitz. Well now, I've heard some reports, but to see it with my own two eyes, beautiful. Me and Marius did our best. As you saw on the way here, the village is prospering, trade is booming, and the villagers are doing well. I saw the new buildings as we were riding in. You've both done a magnificent job. I owe you my gratitude and commendation. Thank you, sir. How did you manage it so quickly? We had to clear the woods and the ruins of the former buildings. I arranged supplies of building materials and victuals from traders nearby. Thanks to which we were able to build what you see here today. And the church here has become the dominant feature of the whole village. I'm especially proud of our church. Indeed, you have plenty to be proud of. Thank you both. I can say wholeheartedly that you have not disappointed me. On the contrary, you have exceeded my expectations. It's been an honor. I quite concur. Master Marius, I'd like you to stay on in the village. As soon as things have settled in the province, we can begin with the expansion as planned. As you wish, my lord. As for you, Henry, as I promised, you shall continue to have the income from the village, as well as the bailiff's office. Thank you, my lord. I thank you, Henry. Few could manage what the two of you have achieved here. The secret is crime. And as you can see, that's it, guys. Uh, this is going to be a, a little bit of a weird video for us. Uh, since you're seeing my face, it's just speeding through stuff on super high speed. And just the town's built. I know. It might have been an anti-command. I'm almost out of the game. I think I have one more DLC set. The uh, tournament wasn't that fun. Uh, it was fun to do, and then after a while, it just gets really, really repetitive. And then eventually, I got the entire uh, Lords of Liper armor set. The helmet looked cool, but after I defeated that Lord Zhao in the uh, other DLC with Kuno, the, he had, that guy had hands down the best armor set in the entire game. So I just kept that stuff on, even though it, it looked horrible. And I hate, I hate the helmet so much. Anyways, you guys have been terrific on it. Smash that like button. The, uh, I think if the next DLC is interesting, uh, I'll film that as well. It should hopefully be a, a lot smaller of a video. I made this as small as I could. Hope you guys liked the video. Anyways, I hope that, I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. Then we'll just go into the next series. I started uh, the intro to Atomic Heart. I'm playing it in Russian though. You guys might not want to watch it. Uh, I'm slow at reading. So like some of the subtitles I'm not picking up all the time. Anyways, smash the like button, leave down a comment, uh, how much money you thought it, it costed.